uh, another tough battle, another game that we're going to continue to talk about of missed opportunities. Um, you know, we always battle with DePaul and we have great games with them. And, you know, in the second half, some missed assignments equaled scores for them and some unfortunate turnovers uh, for us, unforced turnovers, took away opportunities for us to look to score. So um, I don't really have any wisdom except to say that we will get back to work tomorrow and keep trying to find a way to, fit, you know, take these close games, take these leads, extend leads. We, we take leads and we let teams come back, and which obviously happens in the Big East because of all the talent, but then on, on defense or uh, second halves, we need to find a better way because we're not playing well in the second half. Coach, uh, at the start of the game, you switched out uh, Courtney Wild for Lauren in the starting lineup. Uh, what brought the change on? Just, uh, it, just to try to open things up on the inside because of Courtney's shooting ability. She hit some quick threes. Unfortunately, <laughs> she didn't hit any the rest of the game. I thought they were all good looks, but it just did that um, just to try to basically do they guard Courtney if we pound it inside. If they, they do, then we have one-on-one -on -one in the post. If not, just the way she's shooting because so many that starting lineup were all drivers besides for Tati, and I thought people were sinking in. So, you know, if you look at the minutes, Lauren plays just as many minutes as she always does. We just wanted a different start, and DePaul had played his zone, and we thought if they came out in the zone, we would just have an answer early, but they didn't. And so that's why I switched on it. It seemed like uh, DePaul had a lot of height on you guys, a lot of length. Did that, how did that affect your team today? That's every game for us. Every team has height on us. Every team has length. Um, you know, they got a lot of paint scores inside. We switched to zone down the stretch, and we took care of the paint, but they hit two threes back to back in that stretch, which, I mean, overall they only hit five out of 20, which is great odds, but the two they hit were just game critical threes that made us switch again and get back out. So uh, that's a chance you take, and you know we know that. We usually try to play zone and man, but we played a lot of man to try to negate, uh, negate size with ball pressure. And when we did that, we were good and took away vision, and we did, and they got easy looks inside. Is it tough to defend that high low? You know, Harry goes 7-12 for the game. That must have been yeah, tough. Yeah, she did a great job. I mean, she just played incredible. Um, yeah, I mean, she was on fire early, and then we we actually held her at bay for a while. She started early, played really, really well. But, yeah, that high-low, we were talking about our post had to deny it. I mean, they were just getting it inside. So the whole key to high-low is denying it, and we weren't doing a good job. But they Doug did a really good job in preparing them to go high-low. Her and Chester are a great combination. Coach, uh, Paige Fedorowicz had double digits today on offense. Yep. Uh, why do you think she was able to open up her offense? Because Paige just knows her opportunities and looks, she doesn't go into the game thinking, oh, I have to score. She just lets it come to her. So when it comes to her, um, it's just, you know, she will get scores because she thinks pass first and she sets people up and then people go with the other person and then we find her open. So that's how we get Paige scores. All right, uh, just one last thing. Did you have Jenny Jurgens playing in the, in the game plan? Well, I mean, we know who she is, you know, we, and we obviously you know, have all the players scouted, and we explained who she was, and, um, well, you know, she was just very fortunate for us, very hot night for her, and uh, I thought her hands were down on her. I thought she hit some money shots, but I thought her hands were down, and if any hands are down in the Big East, you can expect someone's going to shoot, and she did, and uh, we paid for it. You guys outscored DePaul 21-10 to in the fast break, but it seemed like your transition defense was, you know, lacking a little bit. Yeah, um, in the first half we only gave up two, two fast break points and I thought that was great. In the second half, um, you know, it was just an up and down game and we did some extra pressing when we were down and they got some really easy looks because we didn't, uh, we, uh, what am I trying to say, like once we trapped we didn't rotate correctly and they got some easy looks. So that was, I think, some of the problem there, but we were more in a desperate mode at the end. I thought we were doing okay there for a while and they started fast call that timeout, then we're okay, and then things went down the hill at the end. Anything, well, anything else? Coach, what do you think uh, was the biggest change in you, for you guys from the first half where you guys were in control for most of it in the second half to where DePaul was in control? I, you know, if I had that answer, we'd probably have more wins because it's been how we've played second half the majority of the year. We've not played them well. So I don't know. This phase, I'm not saying majority. It's the phase we're in right now of losing. 
you can look statistically and see that the second half we were struggling, especially in defense. But if I point to the number they shot 56 percent, that's that's really telling about our defense um, about getting out contested shots.